Hi friends and thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to show you this Turkey Thanksgiving art project. This is kind of going to be what the finished turkey looks like. For this art project, you are going to need a marker or a pencil, glue, scissors, and if you went to the school and got your baggie to pick up, you should have a folder. And in the folder, on one side is the turkey activity. It should look like this. So if I take off my paper clip, I will see a stencil for the turkey's body, a stencil for all the feathers, and lots of different colors of construction paper. So if you don't have this, that's okay. It's okay. If you have paper at your house, now's a good time to get the paper. If you have construction paper or colored paper, that'll work. And if you just have white paper, that's fine. You can do it with white paper and just color it later. All right, so make sure you have those materials, glue stick, marker, scissors, paper, turkey stencils. The first thing we're gonna do is make our turkey body. This is kind of gonna be what his body looks like gonna have a head <clears throat> and the body. I'm going to find my brown piece of paper. Get the brown piece of paper out. I'm going to put my turkey body on the brown piece of paper and use my pencil or marker to trace it. All right, so I'm gonna hold the stencil on the paper and go around it with my marker. So I'm holding the stencil in place with my one hand tracing around with my marker. Okay, when you're done, it should look like this. Now we're gonna cut it out. Take your scissors, thumb on top, the rest of your finger is in the bottom hole. Usually the thumb hole is smaller and scissors always point away from your body. Your other hand will hold the paper and you're going to cut out the turkey body on the line. Your scissors always point away from you and your other hand moves the paper around so your scissors don't have to move. Your other hand moves the paper around so your scissors always point away from your body and you're cutting on the line. Boop! There we go, there's our turkey body. I'm gonna use this side as the good side because I don't wanna see my marker marks but you can decide which, shot, which side you wanna use. I'll put this to the side to recycle later. And now for the feathers. And so if you don't have the stencil at home, draw and cut out whatever shape you think a turkey body might look like. Mine kind of looks like a little circle on top and a big circle on the bottom. I'm gonna find my feather stencil. If you don't have the feather stencil, you're gonna just draw a shape that looks like a feather. So I'm gonna take my pieces of paper. I'm gonna put them all together and do them at the same time, you can do them one at a time if you want to. So I'm gonna find a way to lay it out on the paper so that the whole feather fits. So I, I kind of have to put it on a little bit of a slant to fit it all on the paper. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Take my marker and trace around the feather stencil, holding the marker in one hand and the stencil tight onto the paper in the other hand. So the feather shape actually almost looks like an arrow if you don't have the stencil or a rocket ship. So I'm gonna cut them all out together by just piling the papers up, making them kind of even. You can cut them two at a time, one at a time, that's up to you. So if I hold them tight like this, I'll be able to cut out all the feathers at once. It's a little bit more tricky because I'm cutting through all the paper, so I have to press extra hard. My thumb is at the top, rest of my fingers at the bottom. Scissors point away from my body, and my other hand holds the paper and moves the paper. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. All right, I've got all my turkey feathers. Hold on to these scraps, especially the red and the orange, because we're gonna need them again later. So now I should have six turkey feathers. Let's count. One, then we have two, and we have 
three, then we have four, and then we have five and six. Okay, so now on my finished turkey, all the feathers are kind of spread out, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna flip my turkey over, I'm gonna glue the feathers on the back, so that's the side with the marking on it already. I'm gonna kind of just spread out my feathers. Where do I think I want the feathers to be? Hmm, where do I think I want the feathers to go first? Kind of get an idea. I'm getting an idea. I think I'm gonna do three on one side. I'm gonna do three on the other side. Okay, so, so mine kind of looks like that. And now I'm gonna take my glue stick and glue the feathers onto my turkey. All right, take off the cap, roll up my glue stick just a little bit. And you could either put the glue on the feather or right on the turkey. I'm gonna put it on the turkey on one side here and then glue these three down. So I've got one, I've got two, and I've got three. Now I'm gonna do the other side, take my glue, do, 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 take my glue. And I'm gonna glue my feathers. One, two, three. All right, so this turkey kind of has all the feathers towards the bottom, that's how I chose to do it. This turkey has some feathers in the air. You can put your feathers however you want. Just make sure they're kind of spread out. So you can have your feathers go however you want. And if you have extra paper, maybe you want to make more feathers. That's up to you. So now I have my body, my feathers. Hmm. What do I need to turn it into a turkey? I can, I can draw eyes on it. Oh, give it some eyes, give it some eyes. Maybe I want to draw or, or use orange to cut out a beak. And I think the beak kind of looks like a triangle. So I'm gonna find some orange. I think I'm just gonna snip off the corner here because that can make a triangle. So I snipped off the corner and I'm gonna glue this triangle on to my face here. A Little bit of glue, glue his beak on. There's my turkey beak. And did you know that turkeys have this red skin under their chin and it's called a waddle. It's kind of a silly name, it's called a waddle. And sometimes they use this to attract their mate and they also kind of release heat out of it, almost like sweating. So it's red and it's underneath their beak. So we're gonna make that right now. And you can kind of make this any shape you want. It could be like a silly shape. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of red out here. So I just made my waddle look like this. I'm gonna glue it under my beak. And then above their beak, they have this thing called a snood. It's also red. And sometimes it even is so long it hangs over their beak. It's a snood. I'm gonna find my red again and make a little snood that hangs over the beak. I kind of made mine like a rectangle with a curve on one side. I'm gonna glue my snood onto my turkey. All right, that's what my turkey looks like so far. Now it needs some feet. You can draw on your feet. I think I'm gonna find the orange and I think I might draw, um, might draw like some rectangles down here for the feet. Maybe you wanna draw triangles. I'm gonna draw a rectangle and a rectangle. Kind of give them some toes here and then I'm gonna cut those out. Take my scissors, cut out my rectangular feet. Yours can be whatever shape you want. And I'm gonna glue them onto my turkey. Take my glue stick, a little glue here, a little glue there. One foot and his second foot, one, two. There's my finished turkey. Once again, your turkey should look different because you're doing it and we're all different. Your feathers can go all the way up if you want, however you want to do it, okay? Just make sure the feathers are spread out. And we're going to save 
this turkey for our writing activity for tomorrow. So don't hang it up just yet. I hope you had fun making this turkey with me. If you didn't have enough time to finish your turkey in class, you can finish it after class. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy.